Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. I don't know if you guys saw the email that went out yesterday. Um, we've had to postpone all youth ministry classes, the Wednesday evenings and the Sunday evenings, because of the increase of the COVID cases that have been happening. And we're also doing out for the health and safety of everybody. However, we are still going to be doing our confirmation meeting that's coming up on January 16th. That's this Sunday. Uh, so therefore, in place of our youth ministry gatherings, I'm going to be doing several videos, posting them here on Instagram. I'm going to post them on YouTube as well. And so I'm going to also try to be covering the themes that we're gonna be, we were going to be talking about each of those nights. So with that being said, today's theme for, for Wednesday is, is family and the holiness of family. So we can know that family is good. It is holy. And there is so much that takes place within the family we are trying to figure out our pl figure out our place within it figure out who we are and figure out the family as a whole and sometimes this takes us a long time sometimes it takes some people years we don't figure it out until into adulthood and this is a lot but what we may or may not realize is that family teaches us. The family system teaches us how we view the world how and how we respond to it as well. We learn how to communicate and interact with those outside the family based upon our interactions within the family. And so what is it that we are communicating to one another within the family and outside of the family? Are we offering one another the space of mercy, compassion, understanding, forgiveness, and even empathy? We have heard Pope Francis say countless times that life is messy and that we are going to get dirty just by living life and getting dirty that's okay because we are called to accompany one another in that mess and so another great pope who is now a saint is pope john paul ii also known as pope john paul the great has said that the family is to be a civilization of love Love is seeking the good of the other person without having our own interests in mind. And so, and when we seek this good along with asking for God's help, we are gaining the holiness and the grace to express it. So what does this look like? It may be doing, doing chores without being asked. It may be offering to help mom and dad make dinner. It may be asking your sibling for help or that he or she asks you for help. It may be expressing to a family member what you appreciate about them. And trust me, this can be difficult, especially when Family knows how to push our buttons. But that doesn't mean that we, we give up. We continue to try and we ask God for that help, that grace to say, this is where I am, this is, but this is what I want to accomplish. This is where I want to, want to gain. And so that can be sources of joy. You know, spend those having fun times with, with your siblings, with your parents. Create those opportunities. Parents, you can do the same. Create those opportunities of, of fun, making, doing dinner together. Make it fun. Just be playful. We can do that. You know, I've said before, like several weeks ago, I did that video of just me dancing a little bit down here. 
we, we need those moments. And so just remember that those things are good and that just by us having that desire to, to be present for our siblings, for our parents, and for the whole family makes it holy, makes it good. Thank you guys, and I hope to see you guys coming soon in February back in person. Uh, again, keep a lookout for more videos. Um, just a side note, this makes it feel like I'm on a stage down here with the lights and whatnot. Um, kind of feel woo. -hoo. But, anyways, uh, have a great day and look forward to seeing you all again soon.